Good morning, time for the Martin Morning Report on a Monday, August 19th, letting you know about all the things you missed. Five fast things, to be quite honest with you, from a weekend in KMA land. And today's Martin Morning Report brought to you by Clorinda Regional Health Center, advancing exceptional care by providing quality care close to home. And we'll get right to it. Number one, top 50 team countdown continued on Friday. And the number six team, all the way from 50 to six, is the Class 4A state football champion from Lewis Central. They lost to Creston early in the year, but then they lost to Bondurant Farrar a couple weeks after that. But then they never lost again. Went from two and two to the state title, and they kept losing running backs, and they kept filling in new dudes, and they were just amazing, constantly having new guys put up 100-yard rushing games or more, or make big plays in big-time moments. And then they made their third consecutive trip to the Dome, and their fifth in the last six years, and beat North Polk 31-5, to 31-5, to in the semifinals before a 40-21 to win over Western Dubuque. Lewis Central, number six team in the top 50 team countdown. Number two, KMA Land Coach of the Year, Brad Bloom, announced on Friday in the KMA Land AD of the Year, Jake Lord, Announced on Saturday. You can check out our stories and our interviews with those two online, kmaland.com. The short version of it, head basketball coach Brad Bloom for Underwood, first WIC title, first state tournament trip, and then assistant baseball coach, part of the state champion there in Carroll, Class 2A, and redeeming that championship loss from a year before. Clorinda was third in the Hawkeye 10 Conference Cup by KMA Sports. Last place for three straight years from 2017 to 19, and not long after, they have topped out. I shouldn't say topped out. They just had their highest finish ever. Maybe they'll get another higher, uh, higher finish than that next year. We'll see. State, foot, fo- state for football, girls cross country, girls and boys bowling, girls tennis, some near misses for boys basketball, softball and baseball. The softball and baseball won Hawkeye 10 Conference Championships, and so did girls tennis. A great year for Clorinda Honored. Jake Lord is our AD of the year. Number three, KMA Sports Hall of Fame. Announcements continuing here throughout August. Don Tebby is the KMA Sports Everly Family Legacy Award winner. What a legacy he left in the 1940s with Shenandoah. And then beyond that, when he moved along and pretty much became the king of bowling in Memphis. Regardless, he led Shenandoah to four conference track championships in five years. Won the Hawkeye seven twice and shared the title in basketball. And then in football, they were undefeated in 48 and 49. Only team in the state to do that in both of those years. Don Tebby, the Everly Family Legacy Award winner. Check out my interview with his son, Mike, at kmaland.com. Pretty fun interview and pretty fun to listen. I must say so for myself. Number four, fall sports names to know is Aaron Olson of Audubon. 1,159 yards rushing, 23 touchdowns as a sophomore. And then 1,203 rushing, 16 touchdowns. As a junior plus, 537 yards passing. And this year, he says he wants to pass for even more. Aaron Olson, a name to know. Number five, McKenna Wickman of Griswold fame. A 2000 and, what, 23 graduate. She spent her first year at Southwestern Community College playing basketball. Well, she's going back to softball. She's a former All-State catcher and an All-Conference pick all four years. All-District choice three times. All-State once. And now will play softball for the great Danny Jensen there at Southwestern Community College to, uh, you know, use her. Well, I guess she'd have two, would she have two years of eligibility for softball? I don't know how that all works, but I do know this. The Martin Morning Report is done for this Monday, and we're actually going to have some fall sports at our website later at kmaland.com. Some boys golf getting started today. We'll have all of that and more on our Martin Morning Report tomorrow. Today's Martin Morning Report brought to you by Clorinda Regional Health Center, advancing exceptional care by providing quality care close to home. Have a fantastic Amazing, brilliant Monday.